what's up? It's Meezy. It is the eighth day of Techmas, and today we are talking about interview preparation websites, materials, things you can use to get ready for your developer interviews. Alrighty, so as we all know, looking for a job is probably one of the worst experiences in the world. Um, and on top of that, if you are a developer, not only do you have to interview, but you have to take tests while you interview. Um, and these tests are on things that you haven't thought about since you were a freshman in CS101. So to help us prepare, I have, uh, I've went through quite a few things. So I just want to share what I feel has been most helpful for me. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and get into it. All right, so the first thing is elite code that's not the one i want to start with so all right the first thing is hacker rank i really liked using hacker rank to practice um just coding stuff one because a lot of companies use hacker rank to send you like a test or if you do a live coding test they will be on a hacker rank with you so i really like hacker rank because of that reason you can kind of get familiar with how it's set up in like the environments that they have and all of that um, and kind of just be already prepped for when you do get an interview. Um, and then the next thing is because I like how HackerRank breaks down their, uh, their options. So let's just go ahead and take a look real quick. Got my nails done, if y'all didn't notice. Alrighty, so let's start with HackerRank. So this is what it looks like after you sign into Hacker Rank. It'll show you everything. I'm not doing any challenges right now. Um, so <laughs> you can do a lot of different things. So you see it says Explorer, Hacker Rank skills, problem solving, language proficiency, pro <laughs> language proficiency, which apparently I have none, specialized skills, and then you can also do tutorials and stuff like that. So I really like Hacker Rank for the way that this is set up, um, and I think. If you are studying for interviews, these three things right here, algorithms, data structures, and mathematics are going to absolutely be the most important things. Honestly, after doing like all these interviews, I think I've done five by now, I feel like I really need to get good at coding math because that seems to be the thing that is tripping me up the most. So I would say math is super important, but all, all three of these are equally important because um, you never know where you're gonna get it. So it's definitely good to know all three. Um, this kind of stuff right here, I really feel like uh, only applies if it is specific to the position that you are applying for. Now, regex is regex, not regex. What? And you know, I, I realize that I'm on two opposite sides of the war because I'm a GIF person, but I'm a regex person because it's regular, like regular expression, regex. Okay, next. Um, language proficiency, I'm not too tight on that, like, whatever. It's not that big of a deal for me right now. So, yeah, I just worry about these right here and these right here, and that's kind of what I do for Hacker Rank. Alrighty, so the next up is Leet Code, and I, so, when I first started interviewing and stuff, I was using Hacker Rank, and then I made a friend at Afrotech, uh, who works for Amazon, and he was like, oh, you should actually just do leak code. It's a lot better. The questions are better. And I was like, okay, I'll try it out. And honestly, I do like leak code a lot better for the fact of the types of question that it asks. Um, all of the questions seem very, very like interview-like. Like they all sound like something you get in an interview. Um, some of the questions are things that I've seen in interviews or seen people post about that that's the question that they got in an interview or something. Um, so, and Lee code is more straight to the point than hacker rank. So I like to use them for different things. Hacker rank, I like to like take it slow. And hacker rank is just not as intense as Lee code. Let me just put it that way. Lee code is like for the elite, right? Like I feel like the Olympians of coding are on Lee code. Um, so when you first log in, you will see this page and these are all the trending posts. Um, and people will post really good things here. They'll post like their interview experience or like 
the processes, the process they went through to like study to get through the interviews to get the jobs at you know all the big companies and stuff. These are pretty cool. Um, a girl posted like the must do questions on Leak Code, and that's the article I have found the most important. That's the article that I've liked the most. Um, so if you go right here, you can see the problems on Leak Code, and these are also broken down, but really. Leak code is like all algorithms, and I guess that's why I feel like it's way more intense. It is not like, oh, this is how you do arrays, this is how you do string manipulation, blah, blah, blah. Like, eh, it's kind of just like these are all the questions that are based on algorithms. Um, another thing I like about Leak code is that they show you what level the questions are. <coughs> um, so, easy, medium, hard. As you can see, I've completed the easy ones because I want to build up my confidence before I jump up to those medium and hard uh, questions. Um, and then over here, it'll show you how many questions you've done. I guess a master lead coder would have done all 1,298. I don't really aspire to be that, so <laughs> yeah. And if you see right here, it has the top, the top hits. Now on lead code, you can pay for a premium subscription and I really don't know what what that does I have the regular one I'm gonna be sticking with that unless I just feel like you know unless I do 50 interviews and don't get hired at that point I think I'll get kind of desperate and start paying for the premium version of lead code um, and just so you can see what it looks like okay so this is like what a question would look like um, Oh, I already did this one. So you would type all your solutions over here and yeah, you can put in your own test cases and you run it and your result shows up over here. And so that's how it looks for all of the questions. Oh, 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 big thing on Lee code is the mock interviews. Um, now I haven't done any of these, but I told myself that I would. You see there's three that are regular and the rest are premium. Um, but actually, I guess now I might pay for it because I didn't realize this was premium. I had another website where you could do mock interviews, but I've lost it. I have no idea where it was. I don't even know where it is for myself. So, yes. So I'm glad that Leak Code has it, but there is another website where you can do mock code interviews. Um, you can sign up for them, maybe even for free. All right, so I just found this website called interviewing.io. I don't want to sign up right now, but I will I will come back to you if this is worth anything. But um Yeah, it says it's free and it always will be, so whatever that means, there it is. I I'll, I'll have to check this out, but now I at least know where it exists. I don't know if this is the one though. I don't know if this is the one. But yes, uh, mock interviews are definitely a way to help you out with your next interviews. Next thing I want to highlight is something that will help you get to the interview, which is CV Compiler. CV Compiler is a resume reviewer slash designer specifically for software developers. Um, and I like that because typically when I get my resume reviewed, the people who are reviewing it don't know much about software development or anything like that. So their advice is very generic and it's not helpful most of the time because, you know, I have my stuff about my projects listed on my resume, but I feel like somebody who's in tech would know the questions to ask me so that I could improve my resume in the right way. Um, they'd also be able to tell me what to add because they would know what the tech companies are looking for specifically. So, CV Compiler knows that kind of stuff. Um, now, I do like it, I have used it. Um, and so you upload your resume and it kind of gives you these scores in each category. And then it'll tell you like, okay, to increase your score in this category, do this, 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 and this. The thing is they don't tell you every single thing that you need to do. Um, to get the full access to all of your recommendations and stuff, you have to pay for it, which is the part I don't really like. Of course, who wants to pay for things? But here's the thing that I don't like about their payments. I just feel like it's very expensive. Um, so like if you want a seven day access, you have to pay $16. Um, 
and then for three months is 25 apparently that's a sale it's normally 40 and then for three months of access 119 dollars now 119 dollars to be reviewed by a tech recruiter i don't think that's bad but why would i need three months access to this like i don't know i just think that it kind of should just be a one-time fee uh, okay, I thought it was monthly, so this is better, but I don't know. It's just really expensive, and if I didn't get a job after using it, I'd be pretty upset. And then, so, <laughs> if you really want your resume to be reviewed by a tech recruiter, I feel like you could just maybe tweet, like, hey, any recruiters want to review my resume? And I feel like somebody would get back to you. Maybe even just shoot your shot in some DMs and ask people <laughs> to review your resume. I don't know. Uh, I understand you get what you pay for, but if I don't have a good job, then I can't afford to spend one nineteen to get my resume reviewed. So, I, I don't know. Alrighty, another thing that I've really liked in my journey of becoming a software developer, a better software developer, and, you know, interviewing and all that is Dev.2. My eyebrow is so itchy right now. Dev.2 is, like, kind of like a a blog website I don't really know what kind of website to describe it as um, but basically people just it to me to me it's like BuzzFeed for developers um, and it's funny because when I first started working and I would get bored or like I would finish my work so I wouldn't have anything to do I would go on BuzzFeed <laughs> and like I don't know read random stories on the news side you know try not to be in the quizzes and all that but you know every once in a while you got to find out what kind of bread you are um but then i found out about dev.2 and what i like about dev.2 is that anybody can post on it you can post on any subject um and so when it comes to interviewing this is really helpful because people can post an article about something like um the difference between let var and const or like uh, merge sort versus bubble sort versus heap sort. Is that a thing? <laughs> I'm like so mixed, mixed up right now. Um, but yeah, these, all these, all these articles are like based on tech things and some of them are a lot of fun, but at the end of the day, it's all like relevant to tech, um, and can just help you prepare yourself propel yourself forward in your tech career so i definitely recommend getting an account on dev.2 and even if you don't want to make an account just go on every once in a while and look at the uh look at the articles on there because you might find something cool okay so we have one last thing and it is this book right here honestly not a huge fan all right, we have one more thing to sh I <laughs> Okay, I have one more thing to show you and it is this book right here. If you are searching for a job, this is like the holy grail. It doesn't matter if you're a student, it doesn't matter if you are, <laughs> you know, 3 years in, 10 years in, maybe I I hope in 10 years people are not asking me to like write a, a sorting function, but this book right here is very, very, it's a staple, okay, in your job search. Now, it is very thick, it is very intimidating, especially if it is the first thing that you look at when you start your job hunt, but just know that the stuff in here is really, really good. Um, one of my favorite parts of the book, actually, is not even the questions that are in here. So this book has a lot of coding questions in it, um, obviously. I think it has 192 but it also asks you questions, not just like the actual code, but it'll give you a um, like a function and ask you what's the runtime of it and all of that. So it has it covers a lot of bases. Um, okay, so she has stuff about specific companies interviewing Microsoft, Planeteer, Google, Facebook. Um, there might be one more. There might be something about Apple in here. Um, but also she has like a roadmap of your interview. So it's like six months out, you should be working on this. Five months out, do that. Three months out, uh, do this, that, and the other thing. So 
I really like it for that part of it because it's kind of helped me landscape how I want to do my job search or like I know even if I don't follow the exact rules that she has in here or the exact steps that she has in here, I know that these are some steps that I probably should take in order to make sure that I'm successful in my job search. And I mean, the, the questions are just a plus, but like I said, I like Hacker Rank and Lead Code, so you typically won't catch me doing questions out of this book. Um, but I could do a video of me doing some of these questions live. I guess I could go live, or I could just upload a video of me doing some of these questions if anybody is interested in that. The last thing I want to say about this whole interview thing is don't feel pressured to follow anybody's specific plan. Um, utilize the tools that people use and see if you like them, see if they work for you, but don't focus too much on like doing this exact plan because this guy did this exact thing and he got hired at Google and blah, blah, blah. Like everything is not going to work for you and that's okay. Um, just make sure that you're learning and you know what you're doing and as long as you can show your knowledge in your interviews, you will get hired. Alrighty, so that is today's video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Tech Miss Day 8, we are out here. We're going to get these jobs, okay? 2020 is going to be the year of fulfillment and just abundance and getting what we want, okay? So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!